Hey, hey, you like surprises, am I right? So just like the last episode, the recording got really glitchy that made certain scenes end up like this. I now know that I must erase every last trace of what they once were. But thanks to the event viewer in the game, I was able to re-record all cutscenes. And the issue does fix itself out later, so for a while you might see more cutscene than gameplay. But I hope you enjoy the video all the same. Why did that face betray me? And that light? No, that is not possible. It must have been remnants of memories from her former life that made me lose control. Memories. They are what limited the potential of Metal Face as well. I now know that I must erase every last trace of what they once were. All my servants need is the instinct to fight. This Homs female. She was with the boy who wields the Monado. A light of her memory. It shines strongly in this one. Bring me face 20814. So it is this male. The boy Shulk remains a thorn in my side. I will enjoy watching my minion crush him. Be still, my servant. I see that your memories cause you much suffering. Take this. What is it? There's a path leading from the base of Digit 2 to the foot of the Mechonis. This is the security key to the door that seals the path. We who live in the village don't have any need for it, but it will be invaluable to you. We're in your debt, Linada. Shulk, Fiora, take care on your journey. We will. Linada, thank you for everything. I see the claws obscuring the giant mechon. Oh man, look at this view though. What is behind the clouds, I wonder? Bionis and Mechonis. Oh, it's so different seeing them from this kind of perspective. We cannot see it from here, but our people are still fighting up there. It's difficult to believe that two such huge things ever fought each other. I wonder how the Machina felt at the time. Must have been... horrible. Scary, too. Fear robs us of reason. Out of fear, we commit terrible atrocities. And call them acts of self-preservation. Fear gives rise to more fear. A never-ending circle of hatred. Perhaps. That circle can be broken. Fear. It must be what's driving this. What's made Egil act this way. Oh. What was that? Did we bring ride? Did we, did, did we bring eye drops? I hope we brought eye drops. Welcome to the Mechanis Field. We have made it to the other side and we saw a little friend. Hello, little friend. Goodbye, friend. A lot of conveyor belts. We're inside the Mechonis. Just how I imagined it. It's all totally mechanical. It ain't gonna be easy getting up this thing. Egil is at the top. What's up, Shulk? Look. It's a switch to activate a lift. If we can get it to work, it should take us up. Ricky want to ride lift? We can't. 
There's no power going to it. Boring! What do we do? Well, if we could find the main power supply... Okay, people, let's get looking. Yeah. If we can connect the power to the switch, we should be able to use the lift. But it seems like there's still so much more to do, but look at that view! My goodness, this game impresses me more and more every single time! Look how gigantic this is, look how high we are, look at that blue water! Blueberry? Pretty tasty down there, I bet. I look amazing! Venting is fun, did you know that? Oh my goodness, this is high! How can any freaking regular human deal with that though? How? I'm curious. How can any human deal with that? It's like, oh yeah, you can make your way to the top. You'll probably lose your legs and other stuff. You'll probably break your, your bones. You'll become jelly. You won't survive. That's it. Game over. Have fun. But especially have fun. Whoa, don't look down. Anyone know where we are? Other than high up? Maybe somewhere around the thigh? The thigh? You mean we ain't even halfway there yet? Stop moaning about it. Look, we can make camp over there. Let's rest for a while. Fiora, are you sure you're feeling okay? I feel a bit like... I haven't got used to this body yet. But please, whatever you do, don't tell Shulk about it. <sighs> I'm sorry, Dunban. Don't worry about it. Back when my arm was injured, it was you who took care of me. I'd almost forgotten. It seems so long ago now. Thanks, Ryan. Doing a spot of maintenance? Yeah. The sighting's been a bit off lately. You know, Mikko let us have some new parts. I could make you a new rifle if you want. Thanks. But I... I want to keep using this one for now. Shulk, get a clue, man. It's more than just a weapon to her. She can't just throw it away and get a new one. Yeah. I suppose so. <laughs> if she let anything happen to it, I bet she'd get a whack from old Atharon. <laughs> Doesn't my man ever rest? Not a chance. The lives of everyone in the colony rely on the Defense Force. Our readiness and our will to keep on fighting. We never know when the Mekon will strike next. No. But I won't let anyone else die. men in Fortress 3 alone. Listen to me. Nobody knew that so many Mekon would come. More people would have died if it wasn't for you. It's not about reducing casualties. We lost 30 men. And we've lost the Fortress. Those men died for nothing. Would their deaths have meaning if we'd won? <sighs> Yes. At least they would have died for something. This is the end now. It's either the Mekon or us. Gah! 
I don't care if I'm the last man standing. I'll take them down! Hey, Ryan. What is it? Do you want to beat the mech on? Of course. What are you asking that for? At any cost? Even if it means giving your own life? Giving my own life? No way. I can't do anything if I'm dead. I'm going to take down the Mekon and survive. And there's no way I'm going to lose Shulk, Fiora or you along the way. We're all going to win this and get out alive. If only we all thought like you. What do you mean? It's charming. What? Aw, oh, shipping moment. We should get moving. We don't have time to hang around. Ryan, did you rest well? Yeah, I feel great. It looks like we're about to re-enter the Mekonis. Brace yourselves. Got it. You okay? Oh, it's nothing. Just my imagination. How did Dunban realize that? He just knew something was up on him. But also, Sharla, girl, Sharla, Sharla, please. You were using an entirely different rifle this entire time. When did Gadol's rifle become important in that cutscene? You never want to let it go? You were using an entirely different weapon. You. Hypocrite, you were using a Mac and a Sniper. Got those rifles down here. You were using a Mac and a Sniper the entire time. What was that accent? <laughs> what was that accent I was doing? <laughs> what was that accent? Oh, look at these big doors. These are those big Fallout doors. Fallout 5, here we come. Whoa, that's pretty awesome. The mouth opens, we go inside, they close, we just got eaten by a door. Uh, uh, uh. Are you okay? She looks very tired. Should she not get some rest? Uh, thank you, but really, I'm okay. No, we'll find a safe place to rest. We've hardly stopped since we left the village. Ricky tired too. Ricky tummy rumble. I'm with you. <sighs> Time to park our. Get down! <laughs> A mech on assault. Can anyone see them? Another vision. Nice one, Shulk. No, it wasn't. Shulk. You did well to evade me. Just what you'd expect from he who wields the Monado. That voice. It's a faced makeup. Is there someone inside? What do we do, Shulk? We fight. But don't kill him. I thought you might say that. Oh, you mean we gotta walk all that way? Wow, we're going all that way right now. Wait, are you serious? We just gotta walk up to him. Why did he go to the other side, though? So wait, he gets to do this while we run away. Wait, wait, is that the reason why there are these walls here? Oh, That's why there's these convenient walls. There's all these convenient walls right here. He can't do anything if we're behind a wall. My favorite fight ever. The wall fight. That was literally the toughest part of this. Just walking up to him. Other than that, this battle will go through easily. Hold on, I need my evasion real quick. Wait, that was it? 
Shala! Gado! It's you, isn't it? Please answer me! Let me see you! Boyfriend. The destruction of the Monado. That is the will of Lord Egil. Gado? What do you mean, Lord? What's Egil done to you? What's wrong, Gado? Why would you say that? Speak to me, Gado! This world is in disarray. I must eliminate the cause of this disorder and restore the world to its original form. That is my duty. Nay, the will of the world. Now, the time has come. The time to restore order. Dang, Ryan coming in with the save, though. Let me tell you, when I started this game, I never thought that it would be like this. This, it gets crazier and crazier. Lady Maynev. It is not far off now. A world in which there is no need for fear. The hour draws near. Our will shall soon be done. First, there is the matter of the Monado. Our victory can only be assured if we destroy the Monado before it's too late. I sense your existence. I know you are alive. Zanza, the hour is upon us. Your time has come. Shulk. Shulk. Who's calling my name? Shulk, you have acquired the ability to glimpse the future. The ability to understand the law of causality, as decided by a higher power. A higher power? Like the Bionis? Why do you desire to change the future? Why do you wish to act against their will? I do just as anyone would do. It is natural to want to change an unhappy future. If that is their will, then I choose to fight. If that is what you wish, Shulk, then you must find your Monado. My Monado? Precisely. The one true Manada. You can't do that. Because... You aren't here. Not anymore. <gasps> Why was Baby Shulk talking to Baby Shulk? Uh. Is... is everyone okay? Yeah... That was a close one. I mean, how on Bionis did we survive that? We seem all right. I don't know. It could be that we were just lucky, but I'm sure there must be more to it than that. 
You were protected by the power of Lady Maynith. Who's there? A Machina. Are you... Vanaya? Vanaya? Does that mean you're... Mikol's daughter? I am glad you are safe, Lady Maynath. Lady Maynath? That face was sent to destroy you. I am truly happy you are all right. You're lying. Gado would never try and hurt us. Sadly, his home's memories no longer remain. The current faces are nothing more than weapons, designed to annihilate all life on Bionis. It can't be. Faces are created by directly integrating the brainstem and metabolic organs of Homs into Mekon. Memories and emotion are nothing but a hindrance to an effective weapon. However, the early faces were experimental. Many retained memories from their former lives. This prevented them from executing their missions effectively. More recent faces have had all memories of their previous lives completely erased. Is that because of me? No, it is not your fault. Mumkar seems the more likely candidate. His attachment to us was too strong. You could say it caused his destruction. That sword one and all. You are correct. No, it's not true. Oh, my Gaddo. Sharla? Explain it to me. I mean, why does Egil want to make us into Mekon? What's the reason for all this? In order to counter the Monado. I knew it. The Monado is ineffective against the Hyentia, the Homs, against all races of Bionis. Egil suffered a bitter defeat in the battle one year ago. After that, he theorized that he could counter the Monado by integrating organic life from Bionis. Of course. Initially, the Monado couldn't take a Homs life. It can now, though. It could not harm those who share the blood of Zanza. That was its sole weakness. But Zanza lifted that constraint. Those who share the blood of Zanza? Who is that giant? The progenitor of the Homs. Him? And once the friend of my brother, Egil, before they became sworn enemies. <sighs> it was Zanza who devastated Maconis. What? Wow! Look at that! Are they the Havarans? They're the latest anti-Mekon weapons, designed by Lorothea and the Ministry of Research. What a glorious sight. The coming together of all the peoples of Bionis. Yes, sir! This is how it should always have been. Then perhaps Father would not. Your Highness! We are fortunate that Dixon informed us of the enemy's new weapon. Our defenses are ready. Today, we start our campaign against Galahad Fortress. Just beyond the fortress lies the Imperial capital of Mekonis. This is a battle to determine not just our own fates, but the future of all life on Bionis. We fight for future prosperity and the glory and honor of all. Troops! Advance! Things are getting serious, but also, is Zanza God? I need to know. Fior didn't get hurt at first with the Monado, but now if he's the progenitor, th yeah. Are you saying that Zanza is to blame for Makonis devastation? It's Zanza's sword that I'm using. Does this mean we're enemies? And if so, why are you... Shulk, calm down. Sorry, I... I will take you to the Mekonis capital, Agniritha. Is that your plan? Lead us straight to the gates of our enemy? 
Deliver us into Egil's hands. It will be quicker to show you than to explain. Then you will understand the history of Maconis and the battle between the two titans. Up ahead is a lift that leads to the central factory, within the chest of the Maconis. The capital, Agniratha, lies just beyond there. Yeah, I feel like we're getting closer. The big war is at hand. But yeah, there's so many questions going on. So, Zanza, the progenitor, that has to make him god in a way because at the beginning of the game, when Shulk almost sliced Fiora, no wait, it wasn't, it wasn't Shulk, it was Ryan. I can't forget it, it was Ryan time. Ryan time almost cut Fiora, but since she's a Holmes, she was a Holmes, she didn't get sliced. So the Holmes share the blood of Sansa, which means that Sansa has to be a god in a way. Then I saw Metal Face and Pale God with the big old spear, and God went, ah! Yeah, yeah, so, what the heck? Did I just meet God? There were so many questions, and there's so much to think about while I'm walking this extremely long path. But I'm sure I'll learn the answer soon enough, though. It's just that the more we go on, the more questions I have, but I'm pretty sure the game will answer it. And if it doesn't, I'm gonna scream. This is the central factory within the chest of the Maconis. Can you see the ring up ahead? At the base of that ring is a transporter that leads to Agniratha. We must first head there. This place is full of autonomous security, Mekon. Tread carefully. I mean, you say tread carefully like we're not going to destroy all the Mekon while Vanilla's like, hmm, interesting. Continue destroying the Mekon if you please. Don't mind if I do. Mm -hmm. 